welcome back to Miss Murray's Corner. So I just realized, you know, I never took the time to introduce myself. So my name is Kalia Murray. I am from Teaneck, New Jersey, and I currently reside in Atlanta, Georgia. I have been teaching the littles for about five years now. I taught pre-K for three years, kinder for two, and this year I'm gonna be embarking on a new journey of becoming an interventionist, which I am super excited about. And I finally reached my benchmark of 100 subscribers on YouTube, so just wanted to say thank you to everyone that is following me that has been a part of my YouTube journey, virtual learning since the beginning. Um, just starting out, I knew absolutely nothing about YouTube. I did not know how to add captions, how to add the subscribe link, how to do anything like that. So I just want to give you a couple tips on what I did to grow my following. So number one, just looking at other friends, looking at other people that I subscribe to their channels. Um, the more that I was getting introduced to different channels, I started commenting more, so engaging with subscribers, commenting on their posts, they would comment and subscribe back on my posts. So I think that's a great way to really engage with the YouTube community at large. Um, one of my cousins actually has a YouTube channel as well, Elise Live, and I will tag her below but she gave a great idea um there's a little youtube trick that i learned and you can put the sub confirm link and add it to your youtube channel link so that when you share your link out it automatically pops up and asks the person if they want to subscribe so that's a little trip that definitely was helpful um i started renaming my youtube link wherever i would post it so i posted it on linkedin posted on facebook um on instagram and immediately i did see an increase in my followers um, also just networking. My dad is a financial services guru and he has always, always told me, your network is your net worth. So like I said, posting on all social media platforms that I had, um, I've gotten a large following from some people that I didn't even know within following other teachers, following parents, just really getting the word out there. Um, I've been added to a couple different Facebook groups, so that's been super helpful as well. And just making yourself a brand. Um, when I first started out, I was just uploading, clicking, just posting my videos any kind of way without having being like a set uniform look for how I want it to look. So I've now revamped a little bit. Um, I've had visuals by Keith make me a logo. So I've put my logo on there. I've made sure my YouTube channel art matches my logo. Then I went back, changed the YouTube thumbnail. So all this YouTube lingo that I'm learning about. So I make sure it looks uniform. Um, I think someone will know if they want to subscribe to you or not within the first 10 seconds of looking at your page. So making sure you have uniformity, knowing, you know, at the top in your channel art, you don't know either when you're posting videos or you know what is your channel about what's going to make them want to keep coming and seeing what it is that you have to talk about so those are just a couple tricks that i've learned again i'm still a newbie at this in the youtube community so still learning and growing but i'm just so happy for the following that i do have thus far and i hope you guys keep connecting with me engage like my posts give me feedback um if needed and just here to have a good time so See you next time on Miss Murray's Corner. Have a great day.